codependency is when two people overstepping his own own boundaries, but to avoid the pain and stay with that other person. And, uh, and same with vice versa. And that is codependency. That is not real life. Love, real love, rather than love to the parents or love to your child. That's that love. You know how it feels, and it is love, but it's not romantic. Boundaries is important for uh, relationships. Uh, very important when you are in a relationship with another person. You uh, again because you don't wanna upset the other person or you want to please the other person and make the other person happy so you basically somehow probably even unnoticeably to yourself uh, stop doing what you usually do and uh, slightly gradually uh, yeah and then it all depends on the boundaries like and your internal boundaries if you you kind of need to still separate yourself from that other person, prioritize and keep track of what's been important for you before you got into this relationship to still have this core beliefs and core sort of plans for you as an individual. Because otherwise it's, it's, it's bad for both. It's not good for relationship in general, uh, your relationship um, to sort of give up on your dreams and on yourself because, and that is, and that is same as keeping boundaries um, because otherwise, yeah, because when, when you boundaryless, you, uh, first of all, yeah, they, they say it's, it's very obvious that you become not that interested anymore because you are you are the same as the other person. So they already have themselves. Why they have, they need another one. Same as them. It's also very, you, you become not interested to yourself. So you become very codependent back to the first topic with that other person, because you don't have you anymore. You all, all you see is what that other person wants, needs and, uh, desires. Um, but it's very hard to keep the boundaries, especially like uh, what I found difficult for me, not even keep the boundaries, uh, like when someone tries to overcome your or overstep your boundaries, but when it's very hard to keep your boundaries, when no one even want to take your boundaries, <laughs> because like you, let's say you're, you just having hanging out with someone and uh, and he's kind of cool and he doesn't he doesn't want to force you to do anything but it's very important to have your like but he has his plans let's say because he has he can do something else but he also has his plans uh just in case if if you not come up with something different and uh when you have internal boundaries you would propose something let's say let, you, you can say we, we, will, we will i don't know go to a theater today and then if he says that he had something different in mind and you don't have this strong internal boundaries it would be a little bit scary for you to keep asking for the theater because oh i mean it's it's kind of becomes a little bit difficult I, it's usually like yeah, for some people, it's very hard even to like to say no or uh, even to stand up for these tiny small things. But it's it's work that should be done from day one, and uh, it's easier to start a relationship going into a relationship already having this in mind and kind of keeping you a little bit separate from the the relationship and from the other person. One thing is to go into or look for or seek another, uh, seek a partner, seek an, an, a person for the sake of relationship. The worst is when you uh, had a breakup and bad re previous relationship and you want to just uh, get all this and override it with a new one. This is the worst. 
relationship being in a relationship being in a this close sort of communication with some other person it's a good opportunity to uh open those wounds i mean it's i, I think it's the only actually way to to find those blind and uh, weak spots in your personality that came with you to this adult life from the childhood as with as i already mentioned before uh, those uh, traumas traumatizing events those uh, uh, feelings that become so big that tiny like cptsd uh, effect that tiny small event will just brought up this whole hurricane of emotions from the past you don't even know what it is that all comes up i think only in the relationship because i don't know because why but just it it is because it's so become vulnerable you spend too much time with that person you think even on energe energetic level you sort of become one one thing if the painful uh, instance come <clears throat> and you just fight over something and you just complain and put it on your partner and trying to kind of through this conflict just fight with him and uh, over the relationship it's much different if you take a step back and think what lesson am I can I learn from this situation why is it so hurtful what exactly he did or said or what happened that it hurt me hurting so much uh, it can be that I mean you of course you can discuss and you can tell that person that this and that but also it's an indicator that something being already that there is a wound and it needs attention on a just healed and uh, intact skin you would never have this absolutely outrageous uh, reaction so that's why i think real if you wanna if you if you consider to uh, be in a relationship I think it's a good and mi very mindful thing to keep, and maybe not all the time, just have this check that what, what am I learning, what am I doing, but just once in a while, if something bad happens, something un unhappy, something um, hurtful, just try to figure out what it means to you, not to him, or them, or relationship, but just for you what it is even break up when there is something is not working and the person just leaves and you stay again all by yourself and all kind of absolutely devastated just try to think every re relationship is a step up it's a it's a next step in your personal development